Hello again everyone, this is Yoda123 and I am back for another episode of Final Fantasy 7 or let's play Final Fantasy 7 rather so we're continuing our journey through the uh, Shimmer building and at present we want to be going to the elevator on floor 66 I've done a little bit of level grinding while I was uh, off camera and I also managed to steal two more uh, carbon bangles from those creatures that you just saw and I also managed to unlock Red 13's second level 1 limit break I did try to unlock Clouds level 2 as well, but it seems to be taking slightly longer than I hoped. Oh dear, it looks like we've been captured. But then to be fair, um from what I've seen, pretty much every single Final Fantasy I've come across, you get arrested at least once during the game. Final Fantasy VIII, you end up uh, getting arrested at the end of Disc 1 and sent to the district prison in Galabida. Final Fantasy X, you get sent to, uh, to the prison in the city of Bavel when you uh, reach there. Final Fantasy XIII, Two of your characters get arrested there as well. In the theme park, 13-2, when you get to the second area, you get arrested immediately on site. So, as I said, every single Final Fantasy game that's come out, you manage to get thrown into jail for something at least once during the game. Of course, Barrett doesn't want to let it slide. But then that's just Barrett being Barrett. Okay, so we're now uh, in prison. And before we can do anything else, we need to talk to Ares. You can talk to Red 13 and Barrett as well, but it's not necessary.
So quite a lot of dialogue to get through here. I know recently, the, well, actually it was a couple of years back now, they did announce at E3 that they were going to be doing this game with uh, voice acting. Um, but so far it still hasn't actually come out, so I don't quite know what's happened to that as of yet. be interesting to see whether it actually still sort of comes out I suppose okay so we've now woken back up again and rather conveniently our cell door is open and something's going down here so first we'll need to talk to Tiffa and get her attention Now we should be able to get the key card off of him and we can let the others out. Come on, Plough, get a move on. So, Shinra has now been infiltrated, but by who, we do not know. Ah, I can't get through. Barrett's blocking my way, I can't physically get out. Oh, that's why. There we go. And the plot thickens. What's going on here then? So it's pretty simple from here. We just follow the blood trail and we'll save our game. Of course, you can still get random encounters. I had a feeling it was going to take my material away, so I deliberately had the girl's limit breaks uh, buffed up a bit. Well, two of them anyway. Ares was a unforeseen. as well use a limit break not really got anything to lose at this point wow Ares physical attacks are a bit crap at the moment there we go So as I said, we'll continue to follow the blood trail. All the way to the top.
Save your game here if you want to, but we've already done it, so uh, we're just going to continue on towards the top. And it looks like President Shinra is taking a little nap with something sticking out of his back. And of course, so President Shinra is now uh, dead. And so it now seems that the infamous Sethroth is the one to have uh, infiltrated the building. Although that's not entirely accurate. All will become clear uh, later on. But for now we'll leave it at that. And here's Palmer, the pain in the arse himself. And so now we have uh, Seth Roth to worry about a little bit. Okay, so we now need to make our way outside. We'll be just cloud on his own for the moment. And this is the one and only uh, Ruffus, President. Uh, He's the son of um, the knobhead president uh, of Shinra himself. But uh, unlike his knobhead father, he's actually all right. So as you can see, him and his father are completely unlike from one another. They're completely different. Though he does like to make speeches like his father does. Now we've got a couple of boss fights coming up now, so we'll need to organise our party accordingly. Okay, so we can no longer save our game up here because Tiffa is very kindly blocking the save point. So for now, we're just going to sort our party out. So let's see what we've got here. We'll give you that one and we'll also give you a fire material. Uh, let's give him fire all. Nice in there, maybe. 
And then uh, red 13 will give ice 2. And we can get the steel ability in there as well just to level it up some more. We'll just generally chuck some of these other ones on, try and get them leveled up a bit. Alright, so uh, now we'll work our way down. Tell you what, we'll run from these. Save ourselves a bit of time, shall we? Okay, so this is the first of the boss fights. His name is Ox Artillery. And he has 1600 uh, HP. I think we'll just get a cure in there. You shouldn't have too much HP left now, I wouldn't have thought. But actually, I'll tell you what, we'll just sense him and see how much he's got left. I think it should show me how much he's got left. So he's got 445 left. Oh, and he's weak against lightning as well. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Which nobody seems to have. I know I have a bolt material. Mm. I'll still be sat in my inventory. No matter. Okay, so that's the first bit done. I'm afraid we don't get a chance to breathe just yet. Because now we have to deal with the second one. Which is AB Cannon. And he does cast a little bit of status damage, I believe. Uh, but he's got slightly less HP than the previous one. And once again, he is weak against uh, Bolt, which... Unfortunately, I have screwed up on because I haven't got it equipped.
There we go. That's that one down. Okay, so that's that one out of the way. We still have one more boss fight to go. And get a mithril armlet for our troubles. Okay, so we'll just remove all our materia. And we'll now set Cloud up ready to do battle. And I think we'll go ahead and chuck fire on. Uh, we'll chuck enemy skill on as well, even though we can't really use it right now. Um, uh, we could stick some poison in there as well, I suppose. Oh, and we should make sure to stick in a healing spell of some description as well, since... Uh, the President's son does do a fair bit of damage. And I think we'll just generally uh, shove some random material in just to get it leveled up. Okay. So Ruffus, uh, when we go into battle with him, he comes with a little pet. Um, whose name I cannot remember. Um, it's best to get rid of him first since he does cast Barrier on to Rufus. So it's a good idea to get him out of the way quickly. And what Barrier does is basically halves the attack of any physical attacks you launch at Rufus. And I believe it does the same to Magic as well. Go. That's his little pest out of the way. So at the moment we won't be doing much damage because of his uh, barrier. Uh, try and get a bit of poison on him perhaps. Quite an easy battle, really. Uh, get his limit breaking now, I think. And that's it for that battle. And for our troubles, we get a nice Protect Vest and a Guard Source, which you can use on any of your characters, and it will level up that particular stat by one. And I think we'll save our game. And I think we're going to win the episode there. It seems like a good a place as any. So I hope you'll join me next time where we shall continue to make our escape from the Shinra headquarters. In the meantime, I've been your host, Jedi123. Ta-ta for now.